Central Nervous System Introduction How does your arm move when you want it to move? How do you remember the way to your friend's house? Why do you blink without you ever thinking about it? If you think it is your brain, you are correct. Your brain runs the show and controls just about everything you do, including those activities which are going on inside your bodies. All such actions have to be properly timed and coordinated, which is done by the nervous system and the hormonal system. Let's understand the nervous system. The nervous system is an organ system containing a network of specialized cells called neurons that coordinate the actions of an animal and transmit signals between different parts of its body. The nervous system is divided into two main systems. The central nervous system, that is CNS, and the peripheral nervous system. The spinal cord and the brain make up the CNS. Its main job is to get the information from the body and send out instructions. The peripheral nervous system is made up of all the nerves which transmit the messages from the brain to the rest of the body. The peripheral nervous system connects the CNS to sensory organs such as the eye and ear other organs of the body, muscles, blood vessels, and glands. The central nervous system is comprised of the brain and spinal cord, which is located in and protected by the skull and the vertebral column. Neurons are the basic building blocks of the nervous system. These specialized cells are the information processing units of the brain responsible for receiving and transmitting information. Each part of the neuron plays a role in the communication of information throughout the body. Let us learn the structure of a neuron. A neuron has three basic parts the cell body, the axon and the dendrites. Cell body contains a well-defined nucleus surrounded by a granular cytoplasm. The cell body is also known as perikaryon or cyton. Dendrites are branched cytoplasmic projections of the cell body. They are for receiving impulses from the axon of another neuron. Dendrites of one axon of the other neuron are separated by an extremely narrow space called the synaptic cleft. Through this synaptic cleft, nerve impulses are transmitted. The axon, also called the nerve fiber, is a long process of a neuron cell body. The axon is specialized to carry messages. An axon of one neuron may have enough branches to make contact with as many as 1,000 other neurons. Axons are covered by a protective layer of a white insulating sheet called myelin sheet. The myelin sheet shows gaps throughout the length which are called nodes of Ranvier. The end portion of axons have swollen bulbs called axon terminals that store certain chemicals called neurotransmitters. There are three different types of neurons. The first one is sensory neurons which carry impulses from the sense organs to the central nervous system. The second type of neuron is motor neuron which carries impulses from the CNS to muscles or glands of our body. And the third type of neuron is interneuron, which connect various neurons within the brain and spinal cord. 
it carries information between the motor and sensory neurons. Did you know that the brain is the most complex organ in the human body? Let us learn more about it. The brain is the center of the nervous system. It is a jelly-like mass of tissue weighing around 1.4 kilograms containing a staggering thousand billion neurons. The brain is protected by three membranous coverings called meninges, which also continue on the spinal cord. The outermost layer is called dura mater, which is the touch and fibrous membrane. The middle layer is the arachnoid layer, which is thin, delicate and gives a web-like cushion, while the innermost layer is highly vascular richly supplied with the blood and is called pia mater. Inflammation of the meninges causes the disorder called meningitis. The space between these membranes is filled with the cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. It acts like a cushion to protect the brain from shocks. This fluid also fills the spaces inside the brain and the central canal of the spinal cord.